Okay, the purpose of this short video is to show you how to create SPSS output for an ANOVA, which is lecture 19. You're going to need to read this to accompany the video because I'm going to try to keep it brief. We're going to have an interval ratio variable, which we're going to compute the mean of, and then we're going to chop it up into at least three groups using the same example as I use in the actual text lecture. So we have sales, and then the location or discrete variable with at least three groups is the location of the retail facility. Okay, so go to SPSS, open up your data set, you go analyze, compare means, one-way ANOVA. Sorry, push reset. Up here in dependent, that's the variable for which you want to compute the mean. You could use age here if you wanted. Um, I'm using sales in thousands. And then the factor, that's the variable with, that has at least three groups. You guys could use education. Another cool one would be income up here. And then level of education down here. See if that the mean income changes level of education. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, go to options. Choose descriptives. Continue and OK. Okay, so you'll notice that this output here matches the output in the two lecture files. Okay. So I'm just going to use this. So we had... <clears throat> Three groups, front, middle, and back. There's their mean sales in thousands. Long story short, here's what you're looking for. This is your TR in step six, test ratio value, 3.78. And then here's your P value. So you'll notice that that's 0.047. So that's 4.7%. That's less than 0.05. If you're using a, in step two, if you're using a 5% chance of error, you would reject the null using this test ratio. Okay, and then I show you the language of what you would do, and then I also show you an example. If you're going to fail to reject an all, how would you use the language? The language on this problem is pretty darn hard, so you're definitely going to have to read this, but I'm trying to keep it short on this video. So again, you're going to go analyze, compare means, one-way ANOVA, put your dependent variable here, your independent variable here, go options, click descriptives, continue, and then OK. And then you get the two boxes. This is your, where you get step six, right there. You can always make sure you make the correct decision in step seven by looking at the p-value. All right, I'm going to keep this short.